Hello, welcome to this video which will explain to you how to complete activity number one using the web-based version of Excel. Now, a lot of the steps from the previous videos which explain how to use desktop version Excel will still work, but there is one feature that doesn't work in web-based Excel, and that feature is allowing you to group on a label. So, uh, we're able to group the booking pace by intervals of 50. Here we're able to group the booking dates by month. Here we're able to group the again intervals of 50 but we cannot do it on the web-based version. So we need to add some additional fields in our hotel data to allow us to do the grouping. So that's one of the main things we need to do. So log into your Office 365 account using your Hong Kong News Space Learner email and your usual password. And on your home screen, you will see OneDrive. So you click OneDrive. So this is your one terabyte of cloud storage that comes with your account. And you should upload the activity workbook. And so how to upload, you just click upload here and you can put it in a folder you can create your own folder if you want you can create a folder first if you don't want to put it all on the same um, directory so i'll leave you to upload your file and once you've uploaded your file so i have uploaded it inside a folder called 2020 july so here is activity one data so i click on activity one data and it opens up inside my web browser and i can work on it uh, inside this web browser using the online version of Excel. So I go back to our data. So here's our data. I've added these uh, two tables here. So you can go ahead and download the uh, new version of the Activity 1 data, which includes these tables. So basically, these tables will allow us to look up the booking pace. And then according to the value of the booking pace, we will assign each booking uh, a group, whether they belong to the 0 to 49 days before arrival, 50 to 99 days before arrival, and so on. And same thing with length of stay. And we're going to use VLOOKUP, except for the nearest match, let's say somebody's booking pace was 99 days before arrival. So 99 days before arrival will fall on this row. It cannot be greater than, so we can only be less than or equal to, so it will fall to this bracket. So that's how VLOOKUP with the nearest match works. So here is our hotel data. So if you watched the previous video, you already know that we need to fill in all of these formulas. So I won't repeat that again. Um, you can uh, fill this in by following the earlier video, but I'm going to show you how to fill in uh, the additional fields that we need to do the groupings. So first we need to group by booking month, right? So we'll put month here. So we'll put month here. And basically, we just need to use this function called text. And we need to take the booking date for this booking, E5. And then we're going to format it as a month. So we're going to put this um, format code, which is 4Ms. And this will give us the month. It will extract the month from the booking date, which is an E5. And we can just copy this to the, all the rest of the rows. The next one is the booking pace grouping. So I'll put it here, booking pace. By the way, if you want to go to the next row in the same cell, you type Alt, you press Alt, Enter, and you can go to the next row. So this is the booking pace group. So this booking has a booking pace of um, well, let's just calculate it here so we have an idea. So booking pace is basically number of days before arrival. So that's arrival minus booking date. Arrival minus booking date. Here. So now let's look for its grouping. So we're going to use VLOOKUP up here. We're going to look for this value, the number of days um, that it was booked before arrival. And we go to price list. We look for it in this table. So we look for the booking pace in the first column. We try to find an exact match, but if we can't find an exact match, we will settle for the nearest match, which is less than the value we're looking for. 
So our label is in column two, and this time we're looking for an approximate match. So now we use true as a fourth argument, and we press enter. So you'll see that for a booking that's made 198 days before arrival, it belongs to the group 150 to 200. And now I will convert uh, these references to absolute references. That means I add a dollar sign in front of the row in the column so that when I copy it um, later on to the other rows, that reference will be fixed on, on that range. And the third column I'm going to add here is the length of stay group because we also need to group later on by length of stay. Length of stay is simply departure minus arrival date. So departure minus arrival. So this booking um, stayed for four nights. So I'm going to be do a VLOOKUP now on the length of stay. I look for this value in the length of stay grouping here. The grouping is in column two of this table. And again, I look for a nearest match. So I use true as my fourth argument. Okay, so the answer is it belongs to the grouping of four to six. Before we can copy this formula to the other rows, we need to add a dollar sign in front of the row and the column of the range where the table is stored. So that later on when we copy this formula to the other rows, it will still refer to A29B31 and will not adjust the references. So I leave you to fill in these other formulas here, but I'll just show you what happens when I select these formulas and then click on this uh, lower right-hand corner square and drag it all the way down. So you can see the values being filled in.